Wow. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? Good morning. Welcome on this beautiful day here in beautiful the Netherlands. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Today, my friends, vandaag vrienden, I'm gonna do this in English and in Dutch, yeah? Because this is a tablet that is sold here in Holland. It's a 9.7 inch tablet from Polaroid. And this is not capacitive screen, no, this is resistive screen. So we're back to the, back to the, how do you call it? Back to the past, huh? We're back to the past. As you can see, I gifted one of my own created Apple stickers. And why did I do that? Just for fun, I had them laying around. Not because I want people to think that this is an Apple, because it's not an Apple. It's uh, running Android and uh, yeah, it comes in a box. Let me show you the box. As you can see, I made this stand. You all know it from my previous videos, the future is Android. Um, I made it from a little piece of wood and you can put any tablet to stand as if it was made for tablets. Of course, you should not let this fall. Make sure you put it in a good place, you know, so it does not fall on the ground. Because if this thing falls, I'm sure the screen will crack. So let me put it like this before it falls. I don't want it to fall. Uh, anyway, I got this thing with the box. How do I get it? How did I get it? Well, remember the um, this laptop? I made a video from what was this name again? Jewel. This Jewel laptop. This unknown Jewel laptop. Well, I created a DJ thing of it and I traded it against this tablet and the lady I got this tablet from she's also <laughs> it was it was also uh, her man her her hobby also plays in a reggae band and she was like hey fuck uh, greetings from my uh, hobby you know and blah blah so that was really cool I met some friends on on the Dutch eBay called Marktplatz uh, and we traded and I got this 9.7 inch tablet the mid 8610 uh, I traded against that laptop and um, they were they they were not so happy about this thing they were really like well you know we like to pay you something extra on top uh, for you know for the laptop I was like no 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 because I got the laptop also very cheap from this friend of mine so I did not want to make profit on my on my friends and on anyone I, that does not give me a good feeling I think they paid enough for this thing they paid at least 139 for this thing I have this tablet uh, gezien ergens for 139 euro well you all know that's more than 150 dollars so I mean like you know they paid enough for this thing and I knew what I was buying because I saw some review well there was no real review about this tablet so that's why I decided to uh, create uh, make a review about this thing we're also gonna hack this thing today we're gonna see if we can like you know hack it give it some other firmware because it's all about putting other firmware but um, 
you also get a book with several languages. I can see uh, uh, German, I see French, I see, I think Spanish. I, sh I see several languages here, so all you guys should, if you like to read books, you should read this book. I don't read books, I read manuals. Okay, what's in this thing? As you can see, it can run audio formats, MP3, uh, WMA, WAV files and AAC, and video, it can play uh, MPEG 1, 2, 4, and JPEG. H263, H264, and photo the normal standard, so as uh, GP, uh, GPG, um, GPEG, uh, BMP, and PNG. Um, it hides a FIA 8650 processor, um, so that's the CPU. It's 800 megahertz, so that's not so much. Uh, it, uh, it runs Android 2.2, and... It has a battery from 2100 mAh. Okay, my experience with this thing, all right? You know, I'm always very, very honest. And you all know Polaroid, Polaroid is, 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 it goes way back, man. Polaroid goes way back to my youth. Like, you know, we had these Polaroid cameras. I should still have one here somewhere. Ah, there it is. I still have my Polaroid camera. Well, this is not from Polaroid, it's from Fuji. But you know, uh, Polaroid came with these cameras and they were the first that created these cameras and you could like make a picture and then the picture rules out. So this is like, you know, Polaroid is not like bullshit. Polaroid is a name that uh, really had a lot of respect in my youth. And you know, when now I see a company as Polaroid creating something, then I'm like, I have to take a better look. And uh, my friends, luister, ik ga jullie vertellen. Uh, I'm gonna show you this tablet now. As you can see, it's very beautiful. And I was talking about putting other firmware, but in fact, eigenlijk hoef je hier eigenlijk geen andere firmware op te zetten. In fact, you don't have to put other firmware because the firmware that's on this thing it's not like it's bad. As you can see, I gifted, uh, I gifted a very nice team. I made a kind of apple out of it. I gifted, uh, how you call it, the apple icons, as you can see. I made the icons very big. I used to do that. I used, um, I used Go Launcher and Go Launcher. You can find it, f you can find it for free on App Planet. And if you get this tablet, um, just try to get on the internet. Just go to Google type app planet and app planet will you know you will come you will find uh, app planet site and up there you can like just click uh, uh, the download link and the thing will download and install and then you have app planet and the coolest thing about app planet is just like market google market and everything you find up there is, is free i don't know if you're violating any copyrights up there because i see that uh, uh, some um, some programs I will show it to you here App Planet. You know you cannot buy programs up there. You can only download for free. So I think App Planet is is really really cool. And uh, it's it's loading. And um, as you can see um, here you see the prices, but there is like they are like all uh, like you don't have to pay for it. You know. So you see very uh, expensive programs here seven ninety nine and um, whatever i did never ever try out uh, the markets that came with this thing because you have to create the account and blah blah so i didn't want to create the account i just wanted to use this thing um, just as a stranger i didn't want to create anything just wanted to see how this thing works and you can see uh, it also uh, turns the screen really nice why a 9.7 inch uh, because it's pretty big it's almost as big as the apple i think it's it's the same size as the apple so the apple um, cover should fit on this the apple screen protector should fit on this um, what can you install on this well my friends uh, i like to listen to music you all know that and uh, to do that i use tune in radio i shouldn't have told you that anymore because you should have known uh, just type um, 
just type search and you can see that it, this is a resistive screen but you know it types just fine nothing wrong with it you know it's it's just resistive it's not capacitive capacitive means that it works with the wormless you see if i put my finger on it it won't scroll but if i put my nail then i can scroll you see that if i put my nail then i can scroll and up here on top you can see uh, that i can browse for my reggae for my reggae stations here browse reggae okay here you have reggae one for one as you can see big up radio uh, reggae FM, Sky FM, Roots, uh, Reggae FM. These are the three stations that are really, really cool. Of course, you should listen to all the other stations offering great reggae music, but also trance music and music from your country. You will find it all with Tune In Radio. This is not some review about Tune In Radio. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with it. And I just let it play music on the background because I'm not really using this thing to to check my mail or to do whatever <clears throat> because I have other computers for that uh, as you can see here I have task manager installed and I did a combination of the Windows 7 theme and Apple icons so this is an Android uh, Android uh, uh, operating system with a Windows 7 combined a skin uh, combined with Apple icons so you know this is like Apple Android and, and and Windows together in one package and you know that 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 should be possible in the future I mean like if the companies just you know work together then they can create a decent uh, little tablet without you know fighting each other about some stupid uh, um, how you call it um, um, patents on some connection or some founding I would like you know put hands together share it and you know create something that the public will like the public will be like hey we have Windows we have Android and we have Apple you know we have uh, make a nice name of these three and create a tablet guys come on don't be like that the camera is also very good my friends the camera is also very good well you know it's not like the camera I'm recording with now but as you can see you can create a video hello how you doing this is Puck you see that let me show you okay we're doing a camera test now as you can see we are we are in the how you call it in the in the camera now this is me uh, you know you can now um, interview somebody you know the sound is pretty good don't put your finger on the microphone i don't even know where the microphone is but don't put your finger on the microphone or on the cam you know you can record like this but you can also record like this i would record like this and then you have the biggest widest angle so you can like put somebody in here and have a decent conversation and you know create a whole movie that while you know you're just like um yeah doing it yourself so that's really cool okay I want to talk about the battery life of this thing you know this tablet has a real uh, good uh, way of uh, using the battery life after you know you can also put that in the settings but after a couple of minutes the thing will go into a sleep and I was watching movies yesterday with this thing I went to bed with this tablet you know uh, brought it upstairs it was playing music put it in the stand you know while taking a shower nothing better than taking a shower while your favorite music is playing on its tablet you know and then I brought it to the bed uh, to, to my to my room I went to bed and I watched some Jetsons video you know the Jetsons Flintstones Jetsons so I watched the Jetsons and I was like damn that looked really good you know well it's not HD quality but hey come on Ugh. I thought it was good enough to watch and you know this morning when I woke up the thing was asleep and I, I just pressed the, 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 the wake up button and the thing woke up and the battery was still half full that while it was on whole night you know so when this thing goes into a sleep people you have done echt a tablet die gewoon lang genoeg mee gaat the battery life goes, goes long enough 
longer than the Arcos, I think, and longer than the Wonder Media, and longer, of course, longer than the Wonder Media. That one would give me three hours. But this is like hours and hours. This can stay on standby for 24 hours or longer. And I could not read that in the manual, but that is what I'm telling you. That's my experience. You know, I had this thing on for two days and then I pressed the button and it turned on and I was like, damn, you're still on? Whoa. So, you know, this is not a bad tablet, people. The Polaroid, it's the, um, oh, what is it? I forgot. It's the, um, it's the mid 8610. But if you, if you look for the mid 8610, uh, you won't find uh, too much information about that. You should look for, um, and here you can see the correct number. Um, where is it? You go to settings. Just go to settings. Um, let's see, where is settings? Bring me home. Okay, we go to settings up here. And you just go about the device and up here you will see uh, the real name of this uh, tablet and that is the mid 8610 pr001 so that is the this is the serial number because there is another uh, uh, um, a polaroid tablet in the united states but that one has capacitive screen and that one is much more expensive i think that one costs like 345 dollars and this thing is sold for less than 135 euros here in holland so that's about 150 dollars so you know i say if you can buy one of these second hand you should do it and um if you never had a tablet before and you don't know what's capacitive screen and you don't know what's resistive screen you could try this thing this thing you can handle it really nice with your little nail the top of your nail so you know all in all a good tablet for just a little money and just create yourself a little wooden uh, holder and you will have a beautiful holder to put your tablet in both ways to stand for you and play your favorite um, content Okay, people, that was it for now. Uh, the Polaroid 9.7 inch, the mid 8610. I say a great tablet and it will stay here for now and I will not uh, give it away. I'm really happy with this thing. What we're gonna do in part two, so you know, in my next video, the video that comes after this one, part two, I will hack this device. We're gonna uh, put different firmware on this thing. And as you know, this is the green LED. You know we must check the LED. It's very important. This is the green LED, or maybe even the blue LED. We will see that in our next video. And um, up there we're gonna put uh, Uberoid, another version of Android with more possibilities, as they said. I'm gonna take a big risk because I don't have the original firmware of this thing. So if I screw it, I'm really, really screwed. But I have belief in my friends of Android and one of my friends said that it's uh, it's working and we can try it so we're gonna try it if it works I'm gonna put the firmware of course available for you all to download okay this was Spock thank you for watching for now um, if the other video comes online just subscribe and you will hear about that and then you can see how we're gonna hack this device make it even better but I say to my Dutch people, deze tablet hoef je niet echt te gaan hacken. Het is een uh, tablet die YouTube speelt. Je kunt uh, via App Market of uh, via App Planet kun je bijna alles downloaden. Tenminste, ja, wat wil je met zo'n ding doen? Je kan er wel duizend apps op zetten, maar ja, wat ga je ermee doen? Je moet je eerst afvragen wat je ermee wilt doen. En ik zeg, je kan gezellig even op de bank of als je s'avonds naar bed gaat een YouTube filmpje kijken. Uh, je moet niet gaan denken dat je gaat... Uh, Facebook. Je kan Facebooken met dat ding, maar het gaat een beetje langzamer. Dat is 800 megahertz. Houd er even rekening mee, weet je wel. Ga geen dingen doen die niet kunnen. Uh, maar je kunt hier heel veel mee. En ik zeg, een leuke tablet die je zeker niet moet laten liggen voor dat geld. Wel, I said, this is a great tablet and people should not hesitate to get it. If they can get it for a low price. I say, till my next video and thank you for watching. This was Buck from Groningen. Bye now.